Welcome back to what most of you probably already know where you're at, the rest of the story. Let me shut these fans off here and I can talk to you a little bit. But as you can tell, we are in the former dairy barn, now converted to a calf barn. Since our last video, there's been some additions. Thank you guys, for those of you that are familiar with my brother's channel, already know what those additions are. These guys Ryan didn't get any footage of because Ryan wasn't with us. Dad and I and Brittany went up and picked up nine more from a different sales barn. Um, that sales barn had, well, I'll put it in perspective for you. The barn that we typically go to has between 10 to 15. 15 is usually, no, 20 is usually a pretty good run from them. I've gone there before where they've had close to 30. Um, this other sales barn I went to, um, I think they said they had, what, north, close to 100 calves. Um, this barn will hold comfortably about 60 maybe 70. I had 68 in here and I got creative and made some pens for them. But um, so far, so good. We've only lost one calf and that was out of the very first bunch we bought. We bought through four and he was kind of a, a risky buy. Um, we already knew he had issues with him and we bought him for like a third of the price we paid for the other three that we bought. Thought we'd try to nurse him through and get him over it, but unfortunately um, he wasn't seeing it. And um, as is farming. So everybody in here is doing really well. Um, they get cleaned, clean bedding every morning. They get grained every night. They get milk twice a day. Um, this is one of our, the oldest one in here, these first three. As you can see, they are very, very wild. I mean, I, I wouldn't trust my, if I had kids. I don't know if I'd trust my kids in here with them. I mean, I just, I, I don't know. They're just so, so unpredictable. I mean, they could lick you to death for all you know. <laughs> Sarcasm, folks. Um... That's it for buying bottle calves for the time being. We are already going to be feeding these guys approximately three weeks into harvest. Uh, the plan is to have them in here for eight weeks. Um, granted, some of the first ones we bought, because we bought them over a period of three to four, we three to four weeks. Um, so some of the first ones we got in here probably can get weaned off a little sooner um, than the guys that we just brought in. Um, other than that, we're gonna get these guys weaned off, get them on grain, um, get them started on feed, raise them up to five to 600 pounds and sell them as feeder calves. Um, it takes a lot of corn to get them from feeder calf weight, which is you know, five, 600 pounds up to that finished weight, which is, well, Holstein's I was told it's a little bit higher than beef. beef 11 to 1200 pounds, give or take. Holsteins, I've seen them run them up 1400 to uh, 1500 pounds. I guess it depends on the amount of grain you have available and your cost, cost to raise. So that plays into it too. Um, as most of you know that have been around for a considerable amount of time, um, ideally that's what I'd like to get into myself is to get into keeping my own beef cattle. Seems like, you know, I got, you know, the two, oh, I got three. I got three cows, oh, two cows and a heifer. Um, ideally, I'd like to get up about 50 head plus and would actually like to do what my friend Ryan does and they raise theirs all the way from calving to finish. Um, there's a little bit more money in it when you're raising your own calves as opposed to buying say going to the sales barn and buying these guys as feeders and then finishing them out um, you don't have that initial purchase cost and plus you have all the benefit of the mom raising your own cows up to weaning weight and you also know everything that that calf has 
lived through throughout its life. So there is a lot of room left in this barn. Um, as of right now, I think the plan is to wait until December or January and buy a bunch of calves over the winter. I'm not against it. We had a bunch of issues with the last group we had in here. Um, a lot of the health, health issues we had um, were led back primarily to the fact that we used corn fodder. Um, that corn fodder was really dusty. Even doing the best I could to keep them, um, keep the the baler, the tines, and everything out of the dirt and the dust. Um, corn fodder is just naturally a very dusty source of bedding, especially in here with all the fans running and the doors open when we were um, tearing those round bales apart because that's how we did it. We'd set round bales in the end of the barn and um, we'd slide them down the walkway here with the four-wheeler. Worked really well. Um, the only problem is, is that the calves being so young as they are, um, they can't handle that dust. I mean, we couldn't handle that dust, but that was an oversight on our part. Um, we just used what we had. And we now have a hay mouthful of straw bedding, which works so much better. Um, I've tried wood shavings. You burn through it too quick. Um, straw just, it just works. You know how they say if something works, don't fix it. So everybody seems to seems to like it. Another perk to the straw bedding as opposed to even corn fodder is that, oh, you see that guy right there? See, he's sitting there chewing on some straw. Combination of the grain they're given, plus the, the fact that they do chew on that straw, it provides them a little bit of roughage, and it really seems to help. I mean, I never saw them chewing on that corn fodder, at least not this young. Um, the wood shavings, of course you wouldn't see them chewing on that. But everybody's clean and quiet. They got fed about 45 minutes ago. And I do have a pretty nice system set up. I use a, a little yard wagon. It's just a four-wheeled, like a little red wagon, but kind of rigged up a little bit better. And it works a lot nicer for feeding them because it can hold up to 40 bottles. And we only have 27 in here right now. And one trip as opposed to making multiple trips with buckets or by hand or whatever else. So... This is my, probably my last calf update for a little while. I mean, I can only talk about calves so much, right? Maybe I'll do an update in another couple weeks. But for this video, take care, take it easy. Keep in touch, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.